In this particular lecture, we will be discussing about API 14C. What is API 14C? What are the different parts of the API 14C? And what is safety flow chart? How the safety flow chart is developed? What is safety analysis? How the safety analysis is being done? All these things will be discussed with practical examples. So before going into this, what is API 14C? If you see the heading of the API 14C, it writes recommended practice for analysis, design, installation, and testing of basic surface safety system for offshore production platform. So basically API 14C is, uh, is related to offshore production platforms but this is a very good standard and this standard can be used for other onshore facilities also so there are lots of standards in the api 14 series right so there is api 14e 14f 14g 14j so what are those 14e is basically design and installation of the offshore production platform piping system 14f is a design installation and maintenance of electrical systems for fixed and floating offshore petroleum facilities and class 1 div 1 and 2 location 14g is recommended practice for fire prevention and control on a fixed open type offshore production platform. 14J, on the other hand, the recommended practice for design and hazard analysis of offshore production platforms. So all these 14 related series are related to offshore production platform. Now there is another standard which is related to this, which is known as 17 v this talks about recommended practice of analysis design installation and testing of safety system for sub c application so if you see the 17 v and 14 f they both talk about analysis design installation and testing right but 14 f talks about offshore production platform and 17V talks about safety system for subsea applications. This particular slide depicts much more clearly what is the difference between this 14C and the 17V. 14C is mainly applicable for the offshore platforms. As you can see, uh, it it talks about this SDV, BSDV and all these facilities which is which is floating over the sea, right? And these lines are coming down to the production manifold, injection manifold, going through injection tree and further to the reservoir. And again, the production line goes from production manifold to production tree and going back to the reservoir, right? So, so if you see this, uh, this bottom portion, this is mainly related to the subsea and design, installation, analysis and testing of the safety related system is covered in the 17V and the 14C basically talks about design, installation and testing of both process safety and non-marine emergency support systems on an offshore production platform. Okay, now let's look into the different parts of the API 14C. If you see, API 14C mainly talks about three different things. One is safety device symbol and their identification. Second is safety analysis and system design. And third is protection concept and safety analysis. In the safety device symbol and identification, it talks about the different symbol that is used and also talks about functional device identification. 
In the safety analysis section, it talks about safety flow chart and safety system operation. Under protection concept and safety analysis, it talks about the protection concept and safety analysis. These two things. Okay. Now we will be discussing in these three things in more detail. So first is safety device symbol. What does it mean? It talks about the different symbols that are used in the op for the offshore production platform. So why this is required? Because different vendors or different manufacturer may use different kind of symbol. So that may create confusion. So this standard provides you a guideline how the symbols look like so that not going into the legend people can understand what is the symbol means if you see the first one if you see this is like it is talks about uh, the flow safety valve or check valve then second one is burner flame detector bsl right then there is a high flow sensor which will be detected by a circle and uh, within that it will be written as fsh so maybe this image is little bit uh, blurry so this talks about like this so this is this will be a circle and within the circle it will be written f s and h okay so similarly for label there is lsh for level low it is lsl for pressure safety high it is psh pressure safety low it is psl for pressure safety valve it will be given by psv so all these different symbols are there so if you want to know more about the symbol please write in the comment box i will make another video on the symbol otherwise you can just refer to the standards and see what are the different symbol and see whether your project uh, documents talks about the standard and using of these particular symbols okay next we will go into the safety analysis and safety design why this is important because through safety analysis we identify the undesirable event that can cause safety and environmental threat and at the same time what we will do we first identify what are the our threats identify what are the identity undesirable event that can cause the threat and then we make reliable protective measure to prevent such events or minimize their effects okay now in a moment we will see how the safety analysis is being done so safety analysis is being done through safety flow chart the safety flow chart actually depicts the way in which an undesirable event could result in personal injury environmental impact or facility damage it also shows where the safety devices and procedure should be used to stop propagation of undesirable events so in a moment we will be seeing the safety flow chart and these two pairs will be clear to you so this is this is a this is the example of a safety flow chart uh, so this is i would say this is a part of a safety flow chart i have considered a particular undesirable event there may be many undesirable event so that will be adding up to this point right so that will be adding up to this point so i have taken a undesirable event of high level occurring right so this is a high level uh, situation there may be high pressure situation high temperature situation all this can be added to this black line here but and uh, but uh, we will be talking about the high level here so that you, you will be getting a brief idea about it and then you can add other causes here right so if there is a high level so there is some protection mechanism which is through the lsh so the level will go high and it will actuate some valves to make the level normal right but what happens if this lsh fails it will lead to overflow right overflow of the tank overflow of the vessel it may occur right and 
it may be actual process high level that may cause this overflow situation or there may be mechanical deterioration of loss of mechanical integrity the vessel in which the liquid is contained the vessel may be leaking right and that may cause overflow also there may be accidental damage maybe somebody uh, there there is some other job that is going on and there is some blow off of some mechanical parts that hits the tank and damages the tank or some other accidental damage may cause the overflow right so here there will be overflow so when there is a overflow so the incident has occurred now right and how this incident can be detected that can be detected through gas detector and alarms and people may manually close these valves here right and another way of mitigating is through ventilation if there is sufficient ventilation available so the leakage may go away or there may be containment arrangement in the outside of the tank there is a, some dike walls within which if there is a some uh, leakage is not too heavy or leakage is not continued for very long time it can be contained within that container right even after that there is a esd or emergency shutdown system available so this is operator driven so when operator comes to know through surveillance or through gas detector then there is a some situation occurred so he or she will press the emergency shutdown system to occur right and then emergency shutdown uh, system may close the valves or close the facility or uh, maybe there can be thousands of other mechanism to arrest the situation right but even this fails then what will happen this particular uh, hydrocarbon if it is a hydrocarbon or any other thing it may come in contact with the oxygen or air and there may be some ignition source present there right this is a fire triangle so you have a source you have a ignition source and you have oxygen so the fire will occur a fire uh, will happen here right even after this there may be some fire suppression mechanism or something will be there and then all this thing will cause facility damage there can be personal injury right there can be fatality there can be environmental related damages also right because the this this particular uh, liquid uh, which is overflown may be not good for the environment right uh, it may go to the sea and uh, damage the marine life so all these things is there so you see the flow how how the is it is flowing and if you are aware of the bow tie so it depicts of the bow tie situation also right so until this this is overflow situation this is the middle point of the bow tie and this the left situation is about the cause and this situation is about the consequence right so this is how you can you are trying to prevent the mechanism until this point and after this there is a mitigation so all this gas detector ventilation containment esd these are mitigation techniques and this lsh is basically your prevention technique right so this is how a safety flow chart is developed for a production facility so there you can add all other different causes and they may see, create other different situations and all these different situation will somehow lead to the facility damage personal injury on environmental related uh, related situations okay okay now we have understood until this point how safety flow chart is prepared and how it is used okay now next we will be talking about some safety analysis right we will be not covering this in detail but rather it, 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 i will talk about this particular process and then it is up to you how you do the safety analysis of this particular system so so take this example this is a pressure vessel and this kind of system is quite common in the ops, uh, in the offshore facilities so there will be a gas makeup system coming in and this going to this pressure vessel pressure vessel is actually separating this uh, gas outlet and oil outlet so gas is co contents of gas and oil so there might be some oil and there might be 
some uh, gas into it and this is the basically the inlet and there is some gas makeup system additional gas is coming here right and the gas is going from the top and oil is heavy it is coming out from the bottom now you see all the symbols we refer to right at the beginning of the lecture so they are coming into picture here so you see this is pressure high right this is level high this is level low right and this is this is your check valve right this is your check valve this is one also the check valve and this is your outlet valve or this is can be your control valve right so basically the inlet is coming here in the pressure vessel and it get getting separated into two part one is gas outlet and one another is oil outlet right and level you are measuring through the level switch and the pressure you are measuring through pressure switch and there are safety associated with the pressure and associated with the level right okay now what are the how we will do safety analysis to this thing so we will be talking about different undesirable event we'll be identifying the causes of it and then we'll be detectable abnormal condition how we will detect this so for example what comes in your mind first so first is suppose undesirable event can be high pressure right the pressure can be high right so and what are the causes maybe maybe from the inlet side whatever there is some disturbance in the inlet side and that cause the uh, pressure to become high inside it or maybe in the outlet line the outlet line got choked right so there is no gas gas is not going out actually it is supposed to go out but it is not going out so that will inlet is there inlet is constantly pumping into the pressure vessel but there is no outlet so then the pressure vessel will be pressurized right and how you will detect the situation through this pressure switch pressure will you will generate an alarm and through that you will understand uh, this is a abnormal situation so this pressure is one then there will be so this is a over pressure situation there may be under pressure situation similarly there may be a high level situation there may be low level situation so i want you to think upon this and fill this uh, chart and until my next lecture while well, i will be talking about all the different undesirable events what are their causes and how to detect the abnormal condition hope you have learned something about uh, api 14c what are the different contents of it what is safety flow chart and what is safety analysis